Welcome to Madden Science. We're talking about vectors today. That was close. Vectors in physics are a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. Go by the name of vector. It's a mathematical term, a quantity represented by an arrow with both direction and magnitude. Vector, over, what? Flight 209 are clear for vector 324. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Vectors are everywhere. You can see them in football, the NFL, with pursuit angles. We see it in hockey. You can see it in movies all the time. For our purposes, we're using an arrow to represent a vector, whether it's your textbook on your desk or you on a bathroom scale. Here from our textbook, different vectors can add up if they're in the same direction, or they can go against each other. 5 adding to 10 equaling 15, or 5 canceling with the 5 in the opposite direction to give us 0. A method that's really helpful when adding vectors is called tip to tail. We want to take the tip of the arrow and move it to the tail of another arrow. Here you can see a number of different examples where they can be additive or subtractive. These are all in the same direction, either vertical or horizontal. What happens when those arrows are at different angles? Say a right angle or an angle is different from 90 degrees. Here's an example of one, two red arrows that adding up give a resultant, in this case shown with the letter R. Here are six different examples. Different colors show us the beginning vectors and their additive or resultant shown as the letter C in kind of that bright pink or purple. Here are some that we did in class. Really helpful to do them on graph paper. Let's look at some vectors that are additive. If you had a six unit blue arrow added to a four unit red arrow, you'd get 10. If you had six in one direction, but now the four vector is in the opposite direction, your answer would end up with two, in this case green, in the direction of blue. How about these two arrows? Six blue, four red, can move tip to tail for a green resultant. Think back to what we did in class with our different resultants using the Pythagorean theorem here to get hypotenuse of five. Here are four different vectors adding up to get a southwestern arrow. Back to our example of blue and red. We can move one arrow tip to tail over to the side, get a green resultant, but how do we figure out how big that is? Might be helpful to redraw that triangle, side four and side six. The Pythagorean theorem tells us a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Plug in our values, we get 16 plus 36 is c squared. Take the square root of 52 and you get 7.2 as our answer. This works even when you're not on graph paper and with unknown values. You got red, green, blue, purple, and orange. I'm going to move those down a little bit and we can see that if the tip of one arrow is put next to the tail of the other and you arrange those in the same order, and frankly it doesn't matter what order you put them in, right, so the tip of the blue arrow to the tail of the purple arrow, same thing, the tip of purple to the tail of the orange. And then you draw your resultant from the beginning to the end. That's all for now. Let me know if you've got any questions. And be sure to go back through this video, pause it, rewind it, recheck it. Take care.